These concerning spam-like text messages are telling those who receive it that they've been selected to pick cotton. Now, a variety of these racist messages have been reported to authorities across the country, and one local cybersecurity expert weighed in on just how this is possible. It's hard to read, but for several black people across the nation, this was a similar text message they received. It reads, greetings. You have been selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. It goes on to say our executive slave will come get you in a brown van. You are part of plantation group C. The viewer who sent me this says she felt horrified and fearful. But this latest trend raises the question of how people are able to do this. There have been several data breaches and each one of those data breaches uh, contains sensitive information and when we take pieces from each one of those data breaches and we cross compare it with things like social media, publicly available profiles, uh, we can discern certain targets, whether it's gender or race. More than 10 states have reported similar texts happening post-election, even on college campuses. And authorities at the local and federal level are on high alert. In a statement from the FBI, it reads in part, the FBI is aware of the offensive and racist text messages sent to individuals around the country and is in contact with the Justice Department and other federal authorities on the matter. While it remains unclear who is responsible, the FTC is urging those who get messages to mark them as spam or junk so that they're reported to the messaging app. It's difficult to protect against this type of attack uh, and it's unfortunately something that we're going to have to start grappling with uh, now and in the future. Tolly Latoy, ABC 10 News.